data represents so much opportunity for an organization and, and data becomes most meaningful when it translates into information and, and putting the power of data at the core of decision-making capabilities. We see this being a, a fundamental challenge for many clients that has long reaches throughout their entire IT modernization strategy. And then building on top of that, securing that data, in a, using that data in a meaningful way, whether that's organizing it, creating modern data warehousing, and then the flow to the drive to innovation. Organizations are seeing a lot of data being generated, um, and it's not just their own data, but data that they might want to use in order to be able to understand how to create competitive advantage or operational efficiency. So historically, what organizations have done is just collected it all and put it into a big data swamp, and the data sits there until somebody decides that they want to use it. The problem with that kind of a model is the fact that you're not actually sure what you're putting there. So one of the recommendations I would make to organizations is first, really think about what you need and why you need it. So associate a value with that data because in essence, that's what it is. If you have a value proposition around your data, then you're able to curate it, manage it more effectively. The next thing I would say is that it's important to understand not only the type of data that you're collecting, but what is its useful life cycle? So how long is that data going to be useful to you as an organization? Because that's the other thing, it's kind of like in your house, right? You have a room where you put all this stuff that you're not gonna use, um, and then eventually, instead of throwing it out, you just leave it there. So, and after a while, you have a problem. You don't even know what's in there. Same thing happens within organizations. So we have lots of data sitting around that we don't know what to do with. So really creating a good life cycle policy is important to understand how do I take the data or keep the data that I need and remove the data that I no longer need. And then the last thing I would say is that just having a good governance strategy in place and real data owners or stewards of data is important so that you understand not only the magnitude of information that you need, but why you're collecting it. Um, because I think that's another big problem for organizations. It's not just that data is being generated fast, but it's, is it data that you actually even need? So it's kind of like, you just don't collect it because it's a good idea. You collect it because you're actually going to use it. There's definitely best practices for how to manage data within you know, a corporate ecosystem. We talk a lot about creating centers of excellence. It could be a, an AI center of excellence. It could just be a, you know, a, a modern data state initiative to drive conformity around how that data is stored and how it's gathered. You know, with the explosion of data in the enterprise, I think you've got to change your mindset. It's not necessarily about making sure that all that data gets absorbed by the people that need it to make decisions. You can start to use more intelligent technology, right? Whether it's machine learning or whether it's even, you know, robotic process automation or generative AI. There's a lot of these different models that can take the mass amounts of data that are being generated today and consolidate it into something that's consumable by a human. And so it all starts with getting your data in a good place securing it, and then leveraging advanced technologies to aggregate it and create intelligence from the data.